Alright, good morning boys and girls. Today we are going to do a topic on fraction of a set. Okay, I'm going to show you two ways of solving a fraction of a set. You can either use the fraction leaves to solve fraction of a set or you can just draw the groupings for this. Okay, let me just show you using fraction leaves first. Okay, let's say if the question states that uh, 3 quarter of 12. So what is... 3 quarter of 12. So how do you show that? So I have here my fraction these quarters, okay? Quarter means there's four parts, okay? And I have 12 cubes here with me, all right? So 3 quarter of 12 is just simply, right? What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to divide these cubes equally into the four quadrants because there's four parts okay so one two now remember to put each cube equally in each quadrant okay like that till you finish all the cubes right so as you can see all together all right so we have three cubes in each quadrant so you as you can see in each quadrant there's three cubes now the question states three quarter of 12 so which means they only want three parts of the quarter so what you're supposed to do is you remove this so it becomes three quarter of 12 so what is three quarter of 12 your answer will be nine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 3 quarter of 12 is, is just 9. Okay, 9 cubes. Alright, so that's the first method where you use the fraction list. Right, so now I'm going to show you how to do this in groupings. Okay, so you again you have uh, the questions. We use the same questions, 3 quarter of 12. So, we have 12 cubes. Right, so what you're supposed to do is always look at the denominator. The denominator, the denominator will tell you the groupings. Like for example, you know your quarters, okay? So how do you know it's one quarter? How do you know that it's quadrant? Because of the denominator, the how many parts, right? So here the denominator, the denominator will tell you the grouping. So what you're supposed to do is all, all you need to do is to just um, draw lines or columns draw four columns this is one two three and four columns okay so you have four columns and what you're supposed to do is you have 12 cubes you just put each of this cube into the four quadrant until you are done with all the cubes okay like that now as you can see uh, here, okay, in each column, you have three cubes, right? So, in each groupings, there's three cubes. Now, the question wants three quarter, which means three groupings. So, that's one, two, and three. This one here is not needed because the question wants three quarters so it's three groupings so all in all your answer will still be nine okay so you have there two methods number one using the fraction these and the second method is just by using columns all right and how to ensure that you get the right number of columns is by checking the denominator so if it's a four you draw your four columns to represent four groupings. If it's a six, so you draw six columns. Okay? Now, let's give it a try for another question. Let's say um, if you have two, or maybe a uh, second question will be five out of eight of 16. So five, eight of 16. So ensure that you have 16 cubes with you. So I have here 12. So I add 4 more. Okay. So now, two, 5 out of 8 of 16. So your 8 denominator will tell you 
the number of columns you have to draw. So in this case, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay? Then what you're supposed to do is to fill in till you are done with the cubes. One at a time. Okay? So you, you are done there. So you have your eight columns. Now, it's five out of eight of 16. So this five represents one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, and five groups. So this is your answer to so five columns. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five, eight of 16 will give you 10. And that's your answer. Is everybody okay so far? All right, let's do the last one. Let's do one more. Okay. Now let's say the question states as um, eight out of um, perhaps nine of eighteen. Okay. So here you have sixteen. All right. Again. So you have 8 of 9 of 18. So what you're supposed to do is, you're supposed to put in your columns. And that's 9 columns, 9 groups. So that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So you have your 9 columns drawn. You have your cubes, so I put in my cubes. Till I'm done with it. Okay. Yep, so that's 18. Now, the question states 8 out of 9. So this is 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So this is not one third. So your answer will be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So your answer is eight out of nine of eighteen is sixteen. All right.